another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a client registration through the source service portal. That's where the client will register himself in comfort of his home office. So we go to the self service portal and then we register. Uh, if you have managed to watch my previous video, uh, I have already stated that the account number for the customer is automatically generated as it's going to do the registration. And the ID number for the customer is supposed to enter a correct ID number. So the system knows uh, the pattern and all the ID numbers of the citizens of Zimbabwe. So I'm going to enter my ID number for as a new customer so that is um, assuming that's my ID number and then I put my first name middle name if it's available if not believe it is optional and say name I could just say test two and the middle name uh, it's supposed to be there if available. If not, we can leave it like that. And then the marital status, assuming I'm married, and specify your gender and phone number. As I've already stated, this phone number that she put here is the number that is going to receive an OTP message for the client to create their PIN, for the client to log into their account. Since uh, we saw it a better way to improve the security for the client, not to be for anyone not to log into an account which does not belong to him. So we put the client's phone number that she uses almost every day, if not every day, and then we put the home phone number if available and if not we can leave it like that we put the email if available and if not we can also leave it like that considering it's available that's what she put on the email is doing this my you is doing this at home at your offices which is office it is so we put he puts is date of birth in the place of birth the home address type of accommodation and he also ended the next of kin name the next of kin name and enter the next of kin phone number and the next of kin address after doing this you submit the personal details that's uh, as i have been saying you can't create an uh, an account if the phone number has been already used before so you can't have the two accounts with the same with the same phone number. So as the system has already stated that this phone number was used, it's already there in the database, so it cannot create the new number. Let's change the number and go on and submit. And I have already stated that the system can uh, identify if the ID number is incorrect, if you have already seen, if already identified that the ID number is invalid, so we can't create an account using this ID number. So the client is supposed to enter the correct ID number for his account to be created. After entering that, he submitted the system will 
accept the details in the document without any challenges. So we go back and after submitting, the client will then create a password. We went to a create or reset pin module. It enters the EC number or the EC that you have provided during the documents. First, during the details, he was entering when he was creating his account back there. So when he enters the EC and the type of employer, that's when he receives that confirmation text message that we were talking about in the first video. And on that page, you will be asked to enter the OTP code for him to continue with account creation, with password reset or password creation. After entering that OTP code, you will be... Uh, okay, let me take you through it. Considering that's my EC number, we search okay that's not the correct is the number 1194 r okay. let me check for my ec Zero seven zero. Right, like this. So the message has been sent it successfully to the number ending with five nine three. So that's my phone number that we have put it. Uh, I have received the token and I will enter the token. That's what I've been saying. The customer is supposed to put, the client is supposed to put a, a number which he uses almost daily. So that every time he wants to log in into the account, he receives a token which is supposed to put there for his account, for him to access his account. After doing this, that's where you put your new password and also re-entering your password to confirm if there were no errors. After doing this, the client has successfully created his, his password. Uh, thank you for, watch, for being with me. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, wait for the next uh, tutorial whereby we are, going, we are going to talk about loan application, approval, and repayment. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.